How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you never before experienced by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies Show. Now, here is your host of Big Fat Lies, success sorceress, and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Sunday. Today, we are talking to the most rare energy type, the human design reflector. And so what do we know about reflectors? I am going to let you know what we know about reflectors. Today is all about burnout. When you burn your little candle at both ends and you have no energy left to do what it is that you came here to do. Well, I would say these people are so freaking aware. They are aware of the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, the things that people want from them, the things that people don't want from them in a giant radius. These are environmental beings. And so their radius is huge and they pick up messages from everywhere. And so one of the things that you may know about me is I pick up messages from everywhere and I receive videos, songs, uh, words, and as I was getting ready for the show, I was just sharing with my producer, oh my goodness, I didn't sleep well last night, um, really quite tired. Um, so I was using my magic bag of tricks to get my energy clear in order to be able to facilitate today. I facilitate every Monday at three o'clock Pacific. And one of the tools that I'm really loving right now is something called human design. And then there's an offshoot of human design called Gene Keys. And so this is a science uh, of how you can move through your world based on your unique life purpose. And so there's a cross in the sky on the day that you were born, and then also a cross in the sky 90 days before that, well, 88 days before that when your soul crystal came into your little baby body inside your mom as you were growing. And so those frequencies, those energies, those astrological points have information. And so the information comes through the neutrino field, which is in space. And so it becomes encoded and then it goes into your body. And so, yeah, okay, cool. More information, more information, more information. Great. And also, what can we do to use this information to experiment, to be scientists with this information to be able to get closer to our life's mission, our life's purpose? And I would say, if you are burnt out, the likelihood of you being close to your life's purpose is pretty slim. Most of the time, the burnout that I see comes from proving, it comes from trying to know more so that you can do more. And I will tell you that that's never really all that helpful to know more so that you can do more. Although my clientele really, really want to know things deeply. They are autodidacts, they are investigators, they really do want to know what it is that they're here to be and do. However, they also notice that the more knowledge that they have, the more confused that they get about what it is that they're here to be and do. Like, what's your unique life's mission? How do you create a mission-driven business? Or if you have a business, how do you make it more mission-driven? Great freaking question. How do you profit? How do you make it deeply, enrichingly, opulently lucrative to be you on this planet? Totally want to have those conversations. And what are the income streams that are available with your unique talents, capacities, and abilities? 
However, my darling reflectors, you cannot do that if you are burnt out. And so my mission today is to give you some information on how to reclaim your inner spark, how to make sure that you are not a candle that's burning at both ends, that you are a smelter. <laughs> Good thing putting that thing out. However, you do have a very sensitive body graph. So what do we know about reflectors? So when you pull up your free human design chart, so you can go on to any web browser and type in free human design chart, and then you find out that you are something called a reflector. So when you look at a reflector chart, none of the centers are defined. None. So every single center is either open or undefined. So there are some gates floating around in there, but there are no channels. And so the channels in a human design chart or where you have consistent energy. So those are kind of like the energy superhighways. And so these reflector beings can have difficulty with consistent energy. So just know that about yourself. You will have trouble with consistent energy. And so if we are looking at reclaiming your inner spark, you need to know where to look, don't you? And so on a reflector chart, there's going to be the placements in the chart are going to be very, um, uh, what do I want to say? The placements in the chart are going to be very informing. For someone like me who knows how to read charts, for you, the first time you pull up your chart, you're going to be like, oh, no, I'm a reflector. How do I navigate that? I am the most rare energy type. So as the most rare energy type, you are 1% of the population or thereabouts. And you are an in, in oh, my goodness, I'm so, <laughs> I'm funny today, aren't I? Uh, you are an environmental being. So in the environments that you are in, you will be able to collect information, collect data, collect your own perspectives. And then if you're with the correct people, they will be very, very interested in what your perspectives are because you have a unique ability to, um, I was looking at it today and I'm like, what is it? What is it that uh, reflectors do? And so there's this bot that you can, well, I mean, there's a series of bots that you can buy, but a bot that is a data scraper. So you can go to a particular website, like your website, and scrape the data off of your website, like find out who's going to your website, who's interested in your website, you know, who, uh, heat maps, like what are they reading? What are they not reading? How long are they staying? Well, reflectors have the ability to data scrape the universe around them. So they can data scrape their residence, their primary home. They can go into businesses and energetically data scrape businesses and present that information back to the parties who need that information. However, it's hard. It's hard. You need to have someone invite you. I mean, it's not really like a projector where you have to have the invitation, you know, however, what I do recommend is that you are invited into these environments because you will go in, it will be painful to you what needs to change. And if you're providing this information in real time without an invitation, you will end up punished. You absolutely will end up punished. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be able to be the one percenters that you are and to be able to be valued where you go into places like Microsoft, you go into places like SpaceX, you go into places like Amazon, you know, go into universities, churches, <laughs> giant institutions, and be able to provide them with that environmental feedback on what they need to change. Now, you've heard me say this on this show over and over and over again. It costs a ton of money, 
a ton of money to train a new employee. Even a minimum wage employee costs between $7,000 and $25,000 to train to the point where they are up and running and they don't need to know from their bosses, like they can work independently and do their work and not be a draw on the resources of a corporation. So imagine you have a corporation where you are spending tons of money training these employees and the environment that you're training them into is toxic. The people who are like the middle managers are toxic. And so the people work there and then they're like, I don't like it here. I don't like the environment. I don't feel safe. I don't feel valued. I just don't want to be here. So that's seven to $25,000 that you might as well just throw in the fireplace. If you're not collecting the correct data, if you're not making sure that the people are safe. And I would say, this is the one thing that I've really noticed in the generational gap between my oldest son and my youngest son, which is actually less than a year, the oldest son is willing to be uncomfortable at work. You know, he'll he'll talk to me about it and tell me what needs to change. Uh, but the youngest son, mm -mm, totally not interested in being uncomfortable at work. If he's put in a situation where he's uncomfortable, he'll go get a new job. And so I would say that the new generation of people who are growing up in business are not willing to be uncomfortable. They're not willing to put up with the stuff that, you know, we put up with as we were growing up in business, you know, people being, you know, creepy, people being, you know, micromanaging, people being overly picky, like a bunch of different things that happen in business, people, you know, robbing the business, like, oh, you know, like that always drove me nuts, you know, people taking stuff home from work. And then expecting that the company should be able to give them a new stapler because they took a stapler home, you know, and I've seen like much worse than a stapler being ripped off from work. I don't enjoy that. I find it completely out of integrity. And so I would not stay with a company that turned a blind eye to their employees stealing from them. And, you know, so like thinking about that for yourself, reflectors, you are uniquely positioned to be able to give that type of information to any environment that you go into. So what do you do if you have that special power of being so sensitive, of picking up all the vibes, and then also having a strategy that you have to wait 28 days at a minimum before you can act on whatever it is that you've noticed. So just for example, say you notice that the corporation is losing employees at an alarming rate and you're collecting your data and you can't really present that data until 28 days into the cycle. So why is that? Well, if you start to watch your moon phases, watch what happens with the transit. Any time in the transit, you could be a generator, you could be a manifesting generator, you could be a manifester or a projector because of the lunar transit. So you're going through all of these different energy iterations and so can present information based on those energy iterations However, you have to go through all of them, all 28 days, and then sometimes even a bit longer if you're not clear. And so that's what you need mentorship for, is to know when you are clear, and especially if you're burnt out, it's very difficult to get the full information on what being clear feels like. So for more on how to reclaim your inner spark as a reflector, in burnout, please join me after the break. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. This show is called Big Fat Lies. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? 
Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness, welcome back, welcome back. So I don't know if you know about me, if you are a regular listener of the show, you might have figured it out that some of the things I help my clients with are money and income streams and increasing profitability in business, health and vitality and a deep connection with their body, business elegance and client acquisition, creating loving, kind relationships and clarity, confidence and a deadly accurate internal compass. And so how I do that is by connecting you with your body, connecting you with your intuition, connecting you with your decision making process. And so once you are connected with your decision making process, which is quite a bit more than just like waiting 28 days and saying, okay, well, I've waited 28 days and I'm just going to go for it. Because the information that you will have acquired over a 28 day period may make you want to go for it, but it also may need to be sorted through some of the filters that I help my clients with. So thinking about that for yourself, what kind of sorting filters do you have reflectors? Or if you love a reflector and you're a different energy type, I'm still asking you, like, what kind of sorting filters do you have on being able to make decisions that really add to your vitality, add to your wealth, add to your health and happiness, and also add to you having loving generative relationships with other people and with yourself. So before the break, we're talking about reclaiming your inner spark. Right now, I want to talk about cultivating resilience and also establishing firm boundaries. So I would say if you were somewhere in the 1970s, 1980s for a birth date, you may have been rewarded for abdicating your sense of self over service to others so it's like oh she's so helpful he's so helpful oh my goodness she stopped what she was doing and she helped me or oh wow that woman she just does everything she says yes to everything she's on the pta she's like helping with this board and that board and she's doing all this pro bono work and running around helping. And I would say, I want you to have a look at your relationship with helping. (laughs) I can feel you guys like, oh, what do you mean? Have a look at my relationship with helping. Well, this is one thing that I've really, really come to grips with in my life is that full grown adults don't need help. 
And if they do need help, then they go and they hire experts and they can be hiring you as the expert if you put them in a position to hire you. If you don't put them in a position to hire you because you're running after them trying to help, then one, you're putting your bank account at a disservice. Two, you're putting your body and your capacities and your talents at a disservice. And three, you're kind of robbing those people of the ability to be able to work with you professionally and take full advantage of your talents, capacities, and abilities in a professional service. So you want them to respect you. Please put them in a position to respect you. And I would say disrespect, disrespect is something that really, really takes away people's inner spark when they feel like, wow, you know, I tried to help those people. I helped them. I did all this helping, helping, helping. And then you felt disrespected by the amount of feedback that you got, the, the amount of accolades that you got, the amount of whatever it is, love that you got from helping. So think about this for yourself. How much are you helping or trying to help? And how much are you allowing people to meet you in the middle and hire you for your expertise? And so that might be something that we could work on together. Uh, I do have a process called Limitless. And so if you wanted to tap into your expertise and find out what your human design chart says, find out what your gene keys chart says about your expertise, and then also find out what my intuition tells me that I should tell you about your expertise and really start to develop a product or a process or a program where your expertise can get out in the world. It's interesting. I had two different conversations uh, today, I have an assessment that I am offering uh, for rebranding, a rebranding assessment. And both people that I had sessions with today wanted to earn like $100,000, $150,000 a month, but they didn't have anything in place in order to be able to rake up that cash. And it's totally possible, totally, totally possible for you to sell $100, $1,000 programs for sure on a group delivery model where, you know, you just deliver your expertise uh, on a weekly or semi-weekly or even you go every day uh, and deliver this expertise to your end user client and get paid $100,000 a month to do so. However, Again, it has to be ease and elegance of process. You know, the first $100,000 that you make in business, you can do it hustling. Uh, but if we're talking about $1.2 million a year, it needs to be elegance now. It needs to be elegance of process. It needs to be group delivery with maybe like a hybrid overlay or something like that. But you need to be valued for your service and you need to be invited by the correct people, especially you reflectors, that when people are getting that reflector feedback, that environmental feedback from you about what needs to change, about what needs to grow, about what needs to go, that they're listening. And so the feedback that you're providing isn't helping. It's facilitating. The feedback that you're providing is actually being listened to. And isn't it so great? Like, I love that. When somebody gets the information that I'm providing to them, they listen and they go and act on the information. God, for me, that is just the bee's knees. I freaking love it. And I could go every day, all day providing this type of this type of information to the people who are really listening to the people who are poised to make changes. So good. So freaking good. But it's also up to you reflectors to have correct boundaries. Got to have correct boundaries. And what were we taught about boundaries? Probably nothing. If you were anything like me, 
and the family that I grew up in, you weren't allowed to have boundaries. You know, you were told to go and do the thing. And if you didn't do the thing, you were in trouble. You couldn't even say, hey, can I do that thing in an hour? Or I don't feel like doing that thing today. Or I'm too tired to do that thing today. Can I do it tomorrow? Or can you ask my other sibling to do it? Or maybe you went and asked your other sibling to do it. And those were ways of correct boundaries. But maybe correct boundaries were something that weren't modeled in your family of origin. And so doesn't matter, like if they weren't, then it's up to you now to grow some correct boundaries, get the seeds and start to germinate the seeds of correct boundaries for you. And so boundaries are all about the senses. It's, you know, what do I want to see? What don't I want to see? What do I want to smell? What don't I want to smell? What do I want to taste? What don't I want to taste? What do I want to touch? What don't I want to touch? What do I want to hear? What don't I want to hear? And then also you can have sort of six sense boundaries too. It's like, okay, well, I don't want people's bad juju coming into my body. So thinking about that for yourself, I used to work in this office and this woman, oh my goodness, boy, did she ever have a rotten temper? Like she would come in and she would just spew her stench all over the office. Like she would have had a bad experience somewhere at the bank, you know, with her kid, or like whatever it is. And she would spew her bad temper all over the office. And then everyone in the office would be affected by this bad temper. And I would tell you, reflectors, you would be the very first person that would be affected by this temperament. And in many cases, I would say the, the reflectors are like, peace out, I'm not staying here. I'm just absolutely not staying here. And so you may have noticed that you go from job to job reflectors because you are looking for that environment where one, you are completely respected. Two, people listen to what you have to say. And so, you know, you get to be your loving self, your super aware self with all of the solutions that will come from those open centers. And if you're not, if you're in the office with the lady that comes in and spews her bad temper everywhere, then what can happen is reflectors create health issues. And so you can even look at the chakra and the theme of the chakra if you have had health issues. Like, what is the theme? What is the theme? <laughs> Just for example, a reflector friend of mine had thyroid cancer. So what do we know about the throat chakra, people? You know, it's either speaking too much or not speaking enough. It's sharing your truth or not sharing your truth. It's like, what is your vision through your throat? So manifest, we manifest through the throat, regardless of whether we're a manifester or not. It's how much we use our throat chakra. And so this person was either not using their throat chakra enough or oversharing, maybe. I don't think that was the case with this person. However, you know, it's like having a look at where these health issues come from, especially in a very, very sensitive body. Where is that chakra? Have a look at that, because that may be something that will help you reclaim your spark, reclaim your vitality if you have an illness in that chakra. But it does not have to be an illness. You can say to yourself, oh my goodness, I've been noticing that I have a pain in my something or a, um, a difference in those chakras. I would prefer for you to be so relaxed and so switched on and so connected with your internal GPS that you can feel that you have a difference in that area and you can feel, okay, well, is that information external to me 
or is it something that I have to pay attention to for me? Because in many cases, as a reflector, you will be psychic enough to pick up on the energy of the people around you. And it's going to feel like it's yours, but it's not yours. And so that's something that I facilitate as well. So for more on reclaiming your spark uh, by having rave better boundaries as a reflector, please join me after the break. This show is called Big Fat Lies, and my name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. Do you want to know what the biggest fattest lie is in the whole world? Jennifer Kramer Lewis has discovered after working with hundreds of conscious heart-centered entrepreneurs that they believe in the lie that if you work harder, smarter, and faster than everyone else, only then will you be rewarded with success. Jennifer audaciously stakes claim that what is pleasurable for you will always be your direct route to the big bucks. Jennifer knows working this hard is robbing you of your dream life. What would you say if she gave you the keys to the Ferrari called your correct energy? What would change if you had a burnout proof business plan, a juicy switched on energy field calibrated by correct business practices, as well as Jennifer's success sorcery, deep psychic awareness and support. The investment for this process is one six what Jennifer's VIP level clients pay. Why? Jennifer believes that once you have this information, you become limitless. And that's exactly what this planet needs more of. Choose your limitless life and business at 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. That's 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. Welcome back, you guys. So before the break, we were talking about establishing firm boundaries. And so this is a practice, you guys, you will always need to practice your boundaries. And so what can happen is like a dancer, you need to practice over and over and over again, those ballerinas who are at the bar doing the plies, doing the plies, the reason why they do so many is so that their little leggies are strong and they can just fly. They're so strong. And so I would love it that your boundaries are so strong and so resilient and so well-practiced that somebody who's thinking about pushing on your boundaries will take one good look at you and be like, mm, better not. And how great would that be to not have to be resilient you know, like get up, get up, get up, get up after the smackdowns, how great would it be for you to just have the type of boundaries that show up in your aura where people are like, hmm, I better not try her. I better not try him. And that's one of the things that I super love is when my clients get strong enough that the people around them don't try them on for size. You know, even their kids, even their loved ones, their mom, their mother-in-law, their spouse, just take one look at them and be like, mm, not today. I'm not going to push the envelope today, as I would say, with reflectors, because you have all that openness. People kind of want to barge in. <laughs> and what if they get it? 
on their GPS because your aura is programmed with, don't try me. Don't bother trying me. And so with a reflector aura, you can program it with that type of information. And then you can also, those boundaries start to activate your quantum field around you, that these are the things that you will say yes to. And these are the things that you will consistently say no to. And then the things that you say yes to can get greater. They can get greater because guess what, reflectors? You are here to be awestruck by how freaking cool your life is. Not gobsmacked, awestruck. Like, wow, you'll never believe it. So these are the type of stories that you need to start collecting is those, wow, you'll never believe it stories. And so right now it could be You'll never believe it. You'll never believe what this person did. You'll never believe what that person did. You'll never believe what this person said. Like you'll never believe it because it's bad. And I would love for you to start collecting those stories about where money showed up for you, where love showed up for you, where friendships showed up for you, where deep support of your talent showed up for you, where like super freaking cool stuff happened. You know, and I do collect those stories. Oh my goodness. Like if you listen to the show, um, I think the last time I talked about how um, I went to a Fleetwood Mac concert and we ended up in the front row. So there is a, you'll never believe it story. It was freaking great. Like Lindsay Buckingham in my face. <laughs> so amazing. And, um, you know, and then other stories about me finding money, just sitting in bank machines, uh, way more than once. And, you know, like money on the dance floor out at the clubs and, you know, winning money at the casino, um, you know, like just like crazy, crazy stuff has happened to me. And I love to tell those you'll never believe it stories. And what happens when we tell those never believe it stories is the universe is like a collie dog. It's just like, oh, she really likes these. You'll never believe it stories. So we're just going to give her way more cool stuff so that she can share it with people so that she can draw in people to play with people who you know, just for example, myself, where my expertise plugs into what it is that you want. So right now, my clients who haven't worked with me are really experiencing overwhelm and burnout. They're really experiencing frustration and anger. They're experiencing money rushing out faster than it comes in. They're experiencing confusion and brain fog, and they're experiencing health concerns related to anxiety and stress. So do you have to have a perfect life in order to be able to work with a success sorceress? Absolutely not. And, you know, people don't do that. It's not like, wow, my life is perfect. How do I get a perfecter life, Jennifer? Well, maybe we can do that. But it's also really fun for me to go through all of the things that you've experienced in your life, uh, the ups and the downs, and to really start to create a piece of art from your experiences, a piece of art from even the bad stuff, even the super bad stuff has given you data, has given you information, you know, might be on like how to never have that happen to you again, or you know what I mean? Like it's, it's basically like all of those really hard experiences that you had to be super freaking resilient. That's still data that can be passed along to your end user. Say you're a coach or a consultant, say you're a naturopath, say you are a professional, like a scientist or something like that, a consultant, uh, an engineer, like all of the things that have gone wrong are giving people just as much data as all of the things that are going right. And so if we can package that correctly for your end user, whatever it is for your business or your consulting 
or you're teaching, then those people, your end user gets the benefit of all of the things that you have done that you may have thought, oh, wow, I'm never going to freaking do that again. So thinking about that for yourself, what is it that you are here to be and do? And if you don't know, if you're not clear, then we could have a really great conversation about your human design chart, about your gene keys chart, and an invitation to you right now, I have a rebranding assessment. So if you have an established business uh, of over three years, uh, we can look at your human design chart and look at what it is that you're doing for business right now and make sure that those frequencies that are coming in on your human design chart are expressed in your business. Because if they are, then your business can grow dynamically. And I freaking love that. That's what makes me the happiest in the whole world. So reach out to me, text me. Uh, I'm better on Facebook or Instagram. So either of those find Jennifer Kramer Lewis and yeah, send me a, a DM and maybe we can talk about having one of these rebranding assessments. I do have a few of those left. They are complimentary. And so once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, and then after that, if you want to work with me, you can go to 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com and find out about my limitless process. You pick one of the things that's not working for you right now, and we just take all the limits off of it. So it continues to work for you or starts to work for you, maybe. So what else do we want to talk about right now? Creating a life that wows you, that wows you. And so what do I want to talk about? There is something called a reticular activating system. And so your reticular activating system, once you have success in a particular area of your life, once you can really feel into that you are good at creating those circumstances, then your reticular activating system goes out and sort of data scrapes the universe looking for things that match that. So one of the truths that I know about myself is I'm always in the right place at the right time with the right people. And I'm a very lucky woman. Over and over, the universe shows me like I have the best parking spot mojo ever, <laughs> like ever, you know, like I never have to park any more than like 10 feet from the door of a business. Like it's just super easy. And then the people that I am having experiences with, even if at the time it feels like, why am I having this experience? It is always a growth experience for me. I'm always with the correct people at the correct time. And it's in my chart, my design son, which is called my business brand. The keynote is the rainmaker. Like I just, I know how to make it rain. I know how to make it rain money in people's businesses and in people's lives. So whatever the rain is, if they're looking for more money, more wealth, more growth opportunities in their business, then that's one of my specialties is business elegance for sure. And business systems and how to set them up so that it isn't a draining business. Because like I said earlier, you can hustle your way to $100,000 income in your business. You can do it. However, anything over, say, $500,000 income in your business, even two hundred and fifty, dollars it's difficult to hustle. You have to have systems set up. You have to have your tech set up. You have to have your support people set up. And they have to be the type of people that don't burn you out, uh, especially as a reflector, you're so, so sensitive. And so if you have somebody who's not that sensitive, who doesn't take care of you, who doesn't speak your love languages, who isn't dedicated to you having a really great life and helping you, then yeah, you're going to get burnt out if you hire that kind of support. So I want to talk to you more about resilience, more about correct boundaries, and more about creating an awesome life after the break. This show is called Big Fat Lies. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. 
Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness. Welcome back, you guys. Can you believe it? We are three quarters of the way through the show. What I would love to hear from you is what is the most awesome thing that you've heard so far? What is the thing that is wowing you? What is the thing that is making you want to do something different in your life to reclaim your spark? I need you to know. I need you to know, Reflectors, you are the most rare energy type. You are a very valuable entity. And if you don't take good care of yourself, you will get burned out. I would say you are the most, the most susceptible energy type to burnout. And the reason why is right there in your chart. You have all of that openness. So people want to rush into those places and ask you about your expertise in all of those places. And then energetically, you can feel them. You can feel them sort of crowding into your personal space. And so what can happen is you don't get what you want. You don't get what you want. And so I don't know. I say this a lot on this show. I don't know why. But people don't know what they want. So if I say, okay, well, if, you know, what are the top five things that you want in your business? Somehow very, very quickly, the conversation comes to, oh, my clients like it when I do this thing. My clients like it when I do that thing. I create programs because my clients are demanding this. And okay, that's one way to do business. That's one way to do business. Another way to do business is what makes me, this is you, what makes you thrive? What makes you thrive as a being with a pulse on this planet? What makes you feel the most vibrant, the most switched on, the most sparky, the most loved, the most appreciated? And then how do you dial that into a profitable, passionate pro profession? Like, how do you do that? And that I, I would say that that's one of my specialties is to be able to look at all of your unique life experiences, like that big pile of what you would call junk, and to be able to create art out of it. And so when I think about that for myself, it's like, I don't know if you've ever been to one of those art installations where there's like a pile of junk on the table. There's like, 
you know, matchbook and springs and, you know, uh, like part of a chair and, you know, a couple of catalogs and, you know, just like what appears to be junk. And then when you look through the lens at the end of it, it's like the Mona Lisa. You're like, wow, how did they pile that junk? So it ended up looking like the Mona Lisa. And I would say that that's one of my talents is to be able to say, okay, well, this is all of the certifications that this person has. These are all the modalities that this person knows how to do. This is the unique set of life experiences that this person has had. And then all of the data, all of the investigating, all of the willingness to, you know, fall down and get back up again and fall down and get back up again is another set of variables that needs to go into your business expression, this profitable, passionate profession that makes you feel loved, makes you feel appreciated, makes you feel like, wow. I know why I'm getting up. I know why I'm going to continue to do my thing. And so at this point, do you know why you're doing your thing? Or are you confused? <laughs> are your activities adding to your vitality? Or are they burning you out? And, you know, are you really relaxed and happy or are you frustrated and ticked off a lot of the time and then what's happening with your financial flows do you have an opulent amount of income that's coming in or is money rushing out faster than it arrives and you know do you have a clear decision making process do you have a clear thought process or are you suffering from anxiety? Are you suffering from depression? Are you able to actually be clear about how to make decisions on this 28 day cycle? And do you know how to read the transits? Like all of the things. Because if you don't have those things, no matter how much investigating that you do, no matter how much data grabbing that you do, it's really, really important to work with someone else. It really, really is. And it may not be me. You may be like, wow, Jennifer, I just can't imagine working with you. And if you can't, then that's good. There's lots of really amazing, talented people. And I know a lot of them. So you can actually send me a DM and say, I can't imagine working with you because of this, 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 and this. But I would like to have this, 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 and this. And I have some amazing friends, amazing coaches that I have worked with who are extremely talented that I would be happy to refer out to. I'm not for everybody. <laughs> not even close and you are not for everybody so if you are trying to be like we talked about with the manifestors last week if you're trying to be Jenny from the block like don't even bother you know embrace your own uniqueness especially embrace your own unique experiences and start to ask questions so that your reticular activating system can turn on that's it you know, your reticulator, your reticular activating system is going to start showing you the places where you can have a profitable profession, something that's awesome, something where you start to collect those, you'll never believe this amazing client that you're that you're working with, you'll never believe this amazing thing that is happening in my business, you know, like create these stories where you can like humble brag, like super, super important for you. Those like to be awestruck by what's happening in your life because the, the reverse is disappointment. And there are a ton of reflectors, even the most rare energy types, people who are literally dying of disappointment. They're dying of disappointment, you know? So I just, I don't want that for you. I would love to show you a life that's filled with awesome experiences where maybe like me, you get upgraded to the front row of the Fleetwood Mac concert and have 
Lindsay Buckingham, right in your face, playing his guitar like a maniac. That was so freaking fun. And I want that for you. And I want to hear your awesome story. Thank you for listening to Big Fat today. Lies with success Fun sorceress life. and entrepreneurial Fun spiritual life. mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live your life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies Show.